what's up ladies if you guys like this look get into it stay tuned i'm going to show you how i achieved this cute 90s swoop half up half down claw clip Jumping right in, the company I will be working with today is Wild African Hair. Here I'm showing you all the goodies they get me. A wax stick, I got some claw clips, a silk Wild African headscarf, a Wild African comb, of course my wig caps. They sent me some cute little, la uh, not lashes, these are edges, and then I got a thank you card. Of course they sent me a drawstring bag so I can store my wig once I'm done. This is the unit. This is their 13 by 6 silky straight unit. It is 22 inches and 150 density. It does come with an adjustable elastic band, three combs, adjustable straps, and um, it is HD lace. I'm going to show you guys up against my skin tone. Everything is looking like scalp. Love this unit. It did come pre-plucked and pre-bleached. You don't have to do anything to it. So now I'm going in and showing you guys the pantyhose ball cap method. I did release a video earlier this year, but I haven't done one since then, so I just figured I might as well show you guys how I do my ball cap method. I'm going in with my Erica J adhesive, and I'm just going right on the perimeter of my hairline. You want to go right in front. Don't actually put it on your hair. And as you guys can see, I'm not touching my hair. Um, I prefer using pantyhose than actual wig caps just because the wig caps alone I feel like are super super thick and they feel like kind of like socks or leggings and you want the sheer minimum lace you know as you can get so I use pantyhose and I feel that it works wonders okay it's easier to handle easier to manipulate like you don't have to do too much and it's super super thin now I'm just gonna let this dry with my blow dryer and once everything is clear, and that's how you know when the adhesive is done and tacky, everything should be nice and clear. Now I'm just taking my makeup brush and using this excess makeup that I already had on my brush and just buffing that into the cap like so. You want it to look like your skin, so make sure you blend that out. Once I get done with that, I'm taking my cuticle scissors and I'm just cutting off the excess cap um, I tried to do like the little elastic band in the back where like they only cut off the front piece and then you like mold it to the back but it wasn't really working like that so I'm just going to end up cutting that off um, like so but once I get everything free we're going to jump right in with this wig install now for me to install my wig I will only be using even or ebon wonder lace spray I did not want to glue this unit down at all but it's super quick and easy if you guys are looking for something that lasts pretty long i say about a week and you don't have to actually glue it down or deal with the hassle of gluing something down i would definitely recommend getting the even or ebon however you pronounce it lace spray love it now that our cap is done we're going to go right in with our adhesive and our blow dryer i am hitting the lace with the blow dryer as soon as i spray that adhesive on there just because i want it to dry very quickly i don't want it to run um, and I'm just ready to get this process over with, you know. So, I find that the quicker you work, the faster um, everything dries and the more natural it looks. And as you guys can see, this unit is already given scalp, okay? We ain't did nothing to it. Like I said, this unit came pre-plucked, pre-bleached. I didn't have to do anything to it at all, but just cut the lace off and install it. And that's what we're doing, all right? Once I get through with this... I'm going to get ready to pull out my part. We'll be doing the swoop bang 90 style as you guys see the caption. Once I get through installing that, um, I'm going to go in with my high comb, make sure everything all nice and neat. But I, that's me rambling. I just need to let you guys watch. So stay tuned. After we get through with this adhesive, everything's going to be nice and laid. I'm going to hit it with my songbird blow dryer until everything's nice and neat looking you want it to look like scalp you want to make sure that lace is laid down and not talking to you and then we're going to get right into the 90s swoop bang hairstyle Just can't give up 
Now I'm going to take my hot comb once I have got out my section of my swoop bang and I'm just going to flatten everything out. I want this nice and neat. You don't want it looking like a helmet or bulky on your head, um, especially if you have a swoop bang. You know, those things need to be flat molded to your head. So that is exactly what I'm doing. And I'm also just running the hot comb through the rest of the hair, making sure everything nice and flat, looking realistic. Once I get through with that, I am going to go in with some Eco Style Gel and just lay these little edges. I did want to go ahead and get those out of the way since I can um, focus on molding my swoop bang once I get ready. Now, I did not cut any hairs or anything like that. I just took the hairline that was already really given to me with Wild African Hair and just pre-swooped me some long baby hairs. Like, I didn't cut them at all. Um, I don't know. I was just feeling myself. I was liking the little long look, so I didn't cut them. Um, once I get through with these edges, we are going to use this pump it up spritz spray and I'm going to spray that all over the bang and hot, not hot comb, use my rat tail comb to mold my bang into place. Um, this takes me about five, not even five minutes, I say three minutes. Um, I'm just holding everything into place using the spritz. Once that is nice and tacky, I'm combing everything into place. And now I'm just going to blow dry that with my Songbird blow dryer until we get it nice and firm. It's once I get that nice, a nice little hold to my liking, I am going to get ready to tuck this hair behind my ear now. I found that with me twisting it like that before I tuck it behind my ear gave me the flattest result. And don't worry about any cracks or creases in your swoop. You can go ahead and comb those back into place before we set everything. And once that's done, I am going to take a rubber band and I am going to tie back the excess hair. Now, I know you guys are like, what excess hair? <laughs> but basically the hair that is behind your ear, um, the part that I flipped. Now you see me pulling this little part, make sure everything's nice and sleek. All my cracks and creases, I don't want y'all to be able to see that. So now once I get that to my liking, I'm going to pull out a stray piece of hair in the back of the wig and connect that with my swoop bang. And I'm going to tie that together with an elastic band or a black rubber band, whichever one you prefer. And I'm just tying it like so. And I turned around so I could show you guys exactly what I was talking about because I know it's kind of hard to explain, but you guys see what I'm doing. I'm just rubber banding those two strands of hair together and then pulling it tight. Once that's done, I'm doing my half up, half down method and I'm just doing you know a regular half up half down I do have my ponytail kind of in the back and I'm going to take my little claw clip as you guys can see and this is where you get the spiked bang 90s looking effect you just want to kind of fan the hair out or just finger comb it out put it in like little pieces until you get the liking of your comb I mean of your claw comb sorry but Take your time with this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, the messier, the better. You don't want it to look like, you know, you was actually 
trying to mimic this hair it looks very freestyle ish so don't be afraid of the claw clip once that's done i'm going to go in with this duo foundation powder in one shade lighter than my skin tone and i'm just going to pop that in on the lace everywhere that i think that is a little too yellow or just not my skin tone and i want to clean that up like so once that's done we are finished y'all i wanted to give you guys a 360 of this unit this is the back of the hair this is 150 density and as you guys can see you see no tracks um this hair is full from root to tip i love the luster and the silkiness of this hair it has a natural shine to it and a natural silky texture which i adore okay ate it up and left no crumbs you feel me love 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 this unit and i think i killed this swoop bang i know i've already done the 90s half up half down spike bun but everybody was doing it with the bust down middle part so i said let me think what can i do to spice it up because i'm obsessed with this hairstyle i said let's swoop it and you know i'm gonna get up close and personal we zooming in no filter no nothing i'm showing you guys that this is definitely giving scalp okay while African hair, y'all did damn thing. Y'all always do the damn thing. You feel me? These wigs are perfect for beginners. If you do not have any experience in plucking or bleaching your units, these units come completely pre-plucked, pre-bleached. You do not have to do anything to them. Definitely recommend if you are a beginner. But overall, I would give this a 10 out of 10. Y'all, I'm feeling myself. Ow. So, so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We are almost at 130K, so I will be doing a wig giveaway, so y'all stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that bell so you guys are getting our post notifications for every time I drop. And I'll see y'all in my next video. We coming back to back. I love y'all. Bye. Mwah.